this is an intro to the game, but just to be sure, welcome back everybody! This is Lady Doves, and today, we're picking up on a new story! Harvest. I'm just gonna let this intro run its course, and then I'll explain what's happening. Just saying that get me copywritten. Just saying the name of the game, like invoking the Lord, like this man did. Oh, the game's called Harvester, not Harvest. People, a lot of people working on this. Or I guess not a lot of people when you think about it. If you look, remember the credits of the other games that have been being made, they go on for at least five minutes. So I guess we're approaching that time limit, aren't we? Okay, it was an official intro. Uh, so yeah, welcome back everybody. Today we're playing a new horror game, Harvester. Now, in case it wasn't obvious from the outro, this is a really old horror game. I think the copyright said it was 1995. Now, quick thing about this game, I played for a bit of this game, died, lost all my progress, and then never touched it again. So I'm not completely unfamiliar, but I didn't really get anywhere with it. But it is a point-and-clink old-school horror game. So, bear with me if I get lost easily, and forgive me when I do inevitably cheat, because we've already established my IQ is not the highest. So let's begin. Harvester gameplay tips. Ammunition is precious, so, precious, so don't waste it. Show tips on... Wait. Okay, yes, on, please, I would need that. Okay, next. If you get stuck on a puzzle, try using items in crazy, illogical ways. I already know that, I, this game probably helped establish that theory. Save your game often, I did not do that, especially before trying something crazy, illogical, or dangerous. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll get to the point where I did die, I don't want to spoil that, but it was kind of funny. Holding down on the control button plus the arrow key allows you to attack opponents. Oh, I didn't remember that, I, I gotta remember that now. Look before you leap. Good to know. The help screen can be helpful, or better yet, read the manual. Uh, I don't have a manual, so I may just look it up online. You can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. Well, this is just giving me some good advice in general, isn't it? Right-clicking on some objects in your inventory shows a close-up of that object. That's also good to know. Right-clicking we on weapons in the inventory activate and deactivates them. I'm not going to remember any of this. Press Escape to bring up menu options. If you can combine objects into new objects, you can combine objects into new objects by clicking and dragging them on one another. Good to know. Sound levels can be adjusted in the options menu. Also good to know. Screen too dark? Try adjusting the gamma in the options menu. Thank you. Check your photo on your inventory screen. It will get worse as you take more damage. Thank you. That's really good to know. A lot of things. Look for special items that will restore your health. 
After finding required items during the day, night will be the time of mischievous adventure. Yeah, I never got to that part. Double click on the left mouse button on, on an exit to go through instantly. Oh, that's good. Use the right mouse button to attack an opponent. Left click on your character or press I to, oh, I for inventory. Left click on an object to grab it. Right click to put it in inventory. Oh, okay, it's not instantaneous. A penny saved is hardly worth the effort. Use the left mouse button to move your character around the screen. Well, now you're just getting obvious. If you are stuck on a puzzle, talk to other characters and they will give you a clue. Avoid cliches like the plague. Ammunition is pressed. So oh, I think we're going to cycle through. Get stuck on a puzzle. Okay. Cycle through them all. Uh, examine your inventory. A handful of faded hardbacks littered the lower shelves. No. What? Oh, I'm clicking on the shelf behind me. Oh. Inventory I. Well, I guess I don't have anything in my inventory. So, let's just move. Oh, wait, no. Can I look at it now? Yeah, I can. I just can't be clicking on anything. So... That's my health indicator, that's me, and let's let's begin. Let's start just by clicking everything in this room. Examine basketball. An official dust ball basketball autographed by GPF. Can I take it? Oh no, but I can punch. Ah, uh, he's marching to anything. Uh, no dude, uh, can you walk here, and then walk... No, no, okay, you can't walk any further than that. Uh, examine bed. The mattress is speckled with odd stains. Okay, don't need to know any more about that. Examine clock. An old-fashioned clock with bells and a hammer. Can I take it? Examine picture. Oh, no, that, that was... Uh, examine picture. A photo of a beautiful girl, blonde, about 17 years old? I think you're 17 too, so that's fine. Well, depending on if you know the girl. Moving on. A pair of plastic binoculars with the lenses melted to the table. That's weird. Acne medication. An empty acne medi medicine container. I can't take that. I'm just looking for other things to click on. Plant. A recently watered, watered plastic plant? Wall clock. One of your typical wall clocks. Clarinet. Obviously some fat high, sc high school girl left that there. Yeah, right. That's so your clarinet. Uh, record player. Paper Doll by Mills Brothers sits on the turntable. Don't know anything about that band, so I can't really insult you for your music taste. A recently watered plastic plant again. Chair. A cheap folding chair such as... Such as you find at swap meets, bingo parlors, and religious gatherings. Saddle shoes. Saddle shoes with the laces knotted together. Can't take any of this stuff. Examine dresser. Dresser... Is unlocked. Oh! Operate dresser. Well, what's this thing on top of it? Examine sunglasses. As if... As of yet, the future isn't so bright. I can't take it. But I think I can take this quarter. Examine the quarter. 25 cents dated 1985. Oh yes, now I have the option to take. I took it. Examine pen. Shoe marks are visible on the end of this ball pen. I don't see anything more I can examine with. Let me just... Okay, my mouse was not... Was fighting with me just then. But don't worry, I won. Mirror. As you peer through a thin layer of dust, you peer through a thin layer of dust at your reflection. Closet. Seven flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in a closet. You don't have much fashion sense. Trash can. An empty trash can so clean you could eat from it. Yeah, I wouldn't. Examine the P-51 Mustang. A hastily glued P-51 Mustang in exact one thirty one one whatever scale, okay? There's the 47 with a broken propeller. I wonder if that's going to be of, of note later. Well, I think I examined enough. Let's get out of here. This walk cycle's kind of funny. Well, I hope you guys like me reading things out loud, because that's what's going to be happening throughout this game. But let's talk to Hank. What? Oh, yeah, there's full voice acting in this. Who are you? Who am I? Where am I? Uh, let's start with one and work our way down. Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Oh, right, and I can type in my own response, but let's start with saying Mom. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother. Oh. And I'd have your room. Right. And all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. 
You're what? my brother? No, duh. Listen, I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem to, to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Steve, leave Hank alone right now. Right, he wakes up with amnesia. I forgot about that. Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, only I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I can tell you look like Woody. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. You always were a kid, Steve. Leave me alone. I'm sick. Yeah, right. Uh, cowboy show. Tell me more about that. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a color television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. Mm -hmm. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides, yeah. blood and guts are needed. Yeah. Let the kid watch his gross stuff on TV. Little kid shouldn't watch this. You're right. That is really neat. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Yeah, why do you keep calling me that? Well, what you, why were you sick? What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking it. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believed me anyway. So shut up. Yeah, I really couldn't get away with that when I was younger. Well, tell me more about Daddy. Your dad is asleep? He and Mom went at it last night pretty hard. He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. What did she... What? Like you don't know, I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now, huh? Too bad you wouldn't pay me and I had to tell, huh? What? what are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there another one too? Wait till I tell. What girl? I don't know what girl you're talking about. Oh wait, about. now I remember. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. Yeah, her. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't show. remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV. Uh, back to Stephanie. I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. Okay, we're not going to learn anymore. TV. That's a weird-looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I. Now that I think about it, I can't remember. And what was that you said about retro rockets? No, retro. It means. It means. Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong, but I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. Well, I could type things in that are no longer in the prompt, I think. And I, he mentioned Mom. Can I... Mom's in the kitchen. And if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Oh, it's like I wish I did here. Your... Uh, let's go back to... Look, well, lousy rat. That's one thing we haven't heard yet. Why am I a rat? What did I do to you? You went and got all mushy on that girl. And now you're lighting out on me. Well, if that's the way you're gonna be, then you can drop dead. Lighting out. What do you mean I'm lighting out on you? First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Steve and a baby carriage. Oh, you're upset that I'm What the hell are you talking about? Mom, Steve said hell. Young man, don't you dare use that kind of language in this house. How'd you like that? You're a little brat. What? Why are you so mad at me? Because you're lighting out on me to go off with that stupid girl. So tough it. I don't care anyway. Oh, you totally care. But I already know the girl's Stephanie, so Good. bye. Finally. Okay, so I am starting to remember now. Globe, a stunning depiction of the Earth made of paper mache. Master bedroom, examine the door. The master bedroom door is firmly locked. TV. An old-fashioned console television. 
coloring book, a box of crayons, and a Range Rider coloring book. Newspapers, a box full of newspapers. Oh, uh, he's walking to him now, but whatever. Cabinet, fine bone china gleams from the mahogany shelves. I'm not getting an option to take anything. Oh, wait, I left the place? Uh, hi, child, Jimmy James. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I got better things to do. I'm supposed to. I don't, rem I don't remember, dude. Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? Jake. That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Uh, I do upstairs. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? You know this Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. Ooh. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Okay, take the sneakers, forget it. What do I care about what they're doing? Take the sneakers? Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. First the keys, then the sneakers. Nuh-uh. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, forget it. You don't get the keys till I see the sneakers, and that's that. See you later, alligator. I'll catch you around, kid. Paper boy who does reverse paperwork. I want to go into the kitchen, though, and see the mother. Kitchen window. A pass-through for the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. Hello, mother. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? Uh... That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. Uh, I can't remember where I am or even who I am. She sounds like she's Man's from the 50s. sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Uh, well, let's work our way down like last time, graduation. When did I graduate? Four months ago, as if you could forget that. What college? College? A high school diploma is all you need to get a job. And besides, you can't marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time going to college. 18 years old and you're just now getting your first job. It's a disgrace, but better late than never. I guess we can thank Stephanie for that. Well, what do you think, uh, well, we already know who Stephanie is. What's my job? That's right, a job. Your father has everything set up at the meat plant. After your meat honeymoon plant. with Stephanie, you'll start out as a butcher in the slaughterhouse just like anybody else. Don't expect any favors just because you're the boss's son. Uh... Father, what the hell happened between you and father? My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now please, let me get back to my cookies. Uh, cookies? The bake sale is on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale by then. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Why? Well, I have to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. But you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. Thanks, Mom. Uh, charity bake sale. What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. Oh, do, do I? I? The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing 
Financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the lodge. Okay, the sketchy. Tell, tell me about the lodge. We would harvest after that. What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. Oh, there it's the harvest. It's just the finest place in Harvest and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say since hardly anyone gets inside, but it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. <laughs> I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? Why not? I'll go look into it. Hey, the last thing I want to do I think I want is a fez on my head. I mean, I'll do it. That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of Harvest. Tell me about Harvest. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Yeah, no, I wanna, like, didn't you just say something about sister? Sister? You'll wake her. I just put her down to sleep. If oh. she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. Darn it, I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Yes. Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. And she ate the bug in her bed. Darn that wasp woman. She's a monster, that's what she is. Oh yeah, the wasp woman. Uh, tell me more about wasp woman, please. Wasp woman? Tetsu Akram is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or by golly, I'll take it up with the PTA. Or the lodge. Uh, PTA? What's the PTA got to do with anything? Show some respect, Steve. The PTA has a lot of clout in Harvest. We run the charity bake sale, the annual blood drive, and by gosh, we even have ties to the lodge. Well, ain't that good. Annual blood drive. Be a annual blood town. drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. Of course, lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Hey, either way, no one's sticking me with the needle. We don't use needles. Uh, this is just getting worse and worse. Uh, Hank is my brother, Hank? right? That kid over by the television? Your little brother is homesick from school today, and I won't have you scaring him with this amnesia poop. Is he really <laughs> sick? Look at the show he's watching. Wouldn't you say he's sick? <laughs> I'd make him stop, but oh, I'm so busy baking cookies for the Harvest PTA charity bake sale. It's on Friday, you know. I hope you're still planning on going. I don't know. I, I need to think. Honestly, skipping out of a charity affair. What's gotten into you? I don't know, damn it. That's what I'm telling you. Don't you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie, for that matter. How do you think she'd feel knowing her fiancé was a gutter mouth? Uh, I don't really feel the need to ask her about Stephanie and fiancé since we already kind of know who she is. Eh, screw it. Let's ask her about Stephanie. And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiancé is having second thoughts about the wedding. Wedding? Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First the heartbreak of psoriasis and now this. Two weeks before the wedding and you're backing out, whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And don't expect me to write you a note. Well, I'll see ya. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. I guess that means I should grab a paper before I leave. 
But I want to look around the kitchen. Examine cookies. These cookies are hot out of the oven. Examine baby crib. Newborn sleeping soundly. Cabinet. A cabinet that smells of dirty diapers. How nice. Wall sampler. An expertly embroidered old-fashioned wall plaque. Fire extinguisher. Fireman Sparky super foamy fire extinguisher. Oh, right. Sparky. I told you I'm big. Uh, so you talked about... Uh, come on. Let me, let me type. Bar. Uh, no, no. Sparky. Who's Sparky? Who cares about that prancing, fire hydrant squatting sissy boy right now? <laughs> Your sister's eating a tarantula and you're still fooling around. If she's my sister. Oh, wow. Enough. Go bother Hank or Stephanie, why don't you? I'm trying to bake cookies. Well, I think that was really all I needed to know. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Oven. Cookies are baking in the oven. Examine trash can. Freshly baked cookies are in the trash. Can I take any of those? No. And I can't take the fire extinguisher either. Well, let's go. Can I grab a newspaper? Yeah, now I can take a newspaper. No, I said... Uh, oh, where the hell did the kid go? Oh, no, 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 not go outside, dude. Uh, is, the in is it in my inventory? Newspaper! Yeah! Okay. Let's go back upstairs and get those sneakers that were up there. Yeah, saddle shoes. No, I can't take them? Well, oh. alright then. Let's move on. I think I should save my game. Uh, game one, please. Uh, d d don't put GGG everywhere. I, I can't move anything. Got. No, okay, apparently G is not allowed. Okay, now it is. Got. Paper. Mom. Safe. And now we just examine what's at our house. Like this frisbee. A day glow lima space disc stuck on the roof. Can't reach that, no can I? Air conditioner. An army surplus air conditioner. Mailbox. It's full of junk mail, bills, and big cell flyers. I'm hearing like a marching band. Power lines. High voltage power lines bathe your home in a wholesome old fashioned electromagnetic field. You feel their humming in your dreams. That's a little eerie. Antenna. Steel barbs wrench signals from the naked air. I guess, let's exit, and then I think we see the whole world, right? Yeah. So, oh yeah, I move like that. There's our house, general store, post office, barber shop, missile base, yeah, that's where I died. Meat plant, Jean Memorial School, TV station, police station, newspaper building, fire station, cemetery, Shady Oaks Moratory, Wayward Hotel, right by the Moratory, Johnson Residence, Abandoned House, and in the middle of everything, the Lodge. I guess we're obliged to first go to the Lodge. Oh, wow, yeah, this place isn't suspicious at all. Hello, Sergeant at Arms. Sergeant at Arms? All the initiates may enter the Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Did you... say something? I did not speak. Face looks Telepathy. constipated. But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? Yes, I'd like to join the lodge. What kind of knowledge? What kind of knowledge? Forbidden knowledge, the forgotten pleasures, and pleasures as yet undiscovered. But such is not for the likes of you. Not yet. Well, that's you a little must rude. first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. Paperwork? Why should I fill out this stupid form? Okay, give me the application then. Applications are available at the post office. Postmaster Boyo disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. And then I yes, just fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. 
When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Thank you? Anything more I can talk to you? Have you obtained an application from the Postmaster? Not yet. If you would find knowledge, you must seek it from the first realization of the wanting. Okay. Alright, I'll get the application. Whether you do or not matters little to me. Many are called, but few chosen. Whatever, dude. Let me look around the place. Tapestry. It looks like an looks as ancient as the building itself. Wall. The masonry looks as though it was made from the Dark Ages, which is weird because we're in America. Pipe. Alarming green sludge oozes from the train. Hole. Red eyes gleam from an eerie malevolence from the darkness. Okay, this place is 100% freaky, and we're out. I suppose we should just go on ahead to the post office then, because that's where he gave us a clue to go to. Alright, examine outside the post office. 41% off packing peanuts assorted colors. I thought packing peanuts were free. It's not. Flag. An old glory flag. Rear good. Window. Looks like Mr. Pastolari, I can't get that, Miss, Miss Pastorelli? Miss Pastorelli forgot to put out the paper for Jimmy. Oh, he, he threw a soccer ball through the, or threw a ball through the window. Wait, that just made me think of something. I should, maybe I can leave out the paper at my house? Use paper well, on that use didn't work. Okay. Damn it. No, there's nowhere really for me to leave the paper. Oh well, I guess I missed my opportunity to give that to Jimmy. Let's go back to the post office. Hello, post office people. Let's work our way around, starting with Postmaster Boyle. Yes? I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? I'd like a lodge application. I was just looking around. Lodge application, please? Mm, sorry, youngster. We're out of applications right now. Come on. You must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Well, I can go get one at the lodge instead. Come on, it won't kill you to make a one lousy copy. It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. That's a bit overdramatic. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. I think those people actually do die. I don't really have much of an option to talk to you. Let me just see. If I put in lodge, would you give me any more info? I certainly don't wish to discourage you from joining, young man. That's just what you should be striving for. But I can't break the rules for you. You keep trying. You'll get in eventually. You know what? I'm going to get my book. One moment, please. I have my book here. I'm going to just write down some phrases of things that I was able to talk to people about, like lodge, harvest. And maybe that'll come in handy later, knowing that I have these things written down. I'm gonna just go through some words, like harvest, and let's see if he gives me anything more. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Alright, so if I don't say anything correct, he is, uh, just not gonna give me anything, like, of note. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Alright, I don't really know what else to ask him, so let's just leave. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code! Alright! Anyone else hearing this low humming? I guess it's a thing in the game. I'll see if I can fix that. In the meantime, though, let's just keep looking. Examine flyer. Bake sale, bake sale. I already tried asking him about the bake sale. Clocks. Three clocks, three times. Examine boxes. These boxes seem hardly used. Examine woman. A blind woman is trying to read her mail? That's not gonna help you, hon. Map. A zip code map with harvest dead, with harvest dead center. I guess we gotta keep in mind that we can find a zip code there. So it won't let me click on it now. I can't really do anything more. Let's just walk around town, I suppose. What's nearby? Uh, the general store. Let's go there. Examine Handyman. He's too busy working, working to notice you. 
Examine sign. The neon letters drone relentlessly, eternally frozen at 4.05. Oh, okay. The breeze. Tape and broken glass, obviously a professional break-in. Well, that sucks. Sign. Yum, creamed asparagus tips, two for 49 cents. Gross. Well, in we go. Hello there, madam. How are you today, Mrs. Phelps? Can I help you, dear? Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. I need some help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say so a good the scare teacher. can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Don't know. Haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? Uh, yes please. I have a quarter and apparently we are in like the 50s. Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. That's cool. Uh, can I talk to you some more though? I wrote down some things on my book. Oh, Steve. Care to buy I... anything today? I guess I can't ask you Just anything more. Just point to whatever. Water cooler. Dead roaches and bits of arid grit coat the water cooler's bone dry reservoir. Well, at least no one's drinking from it. Barrel. This empty barrel reeks of rotting meat. Excellent. Projector. An old 16mm projector with Jean Memorial stenciled onto it. It's the high school. Oh, copier. Free copies made here. Keep that in mind. Examine barrel. Empty barrels that smell like pickles. A shoddy old TV missing the VHF knob. I, I don't know what that is. Examine box? An, an empty meat box. Well, examine shelf. The shelf contains a variety of odd items for sale. What do we have for sale here? Tape. Black electric tape. You must pay Mrs. Phelps before you can buy anything. Examine coffee cans. A cow is bleeding a robust coffee on these Harvest Blend coffee can labels. Ugh. Soup cans with poison labels on it. Cans of soup are possibly rat poison. Ooh, adult magazine. An adult magazine for 25 cents. You must pay Mrs. Phelps before you can buy anything. Examine wrench. A slightly used wrench. You must pay Mrs. Phelps. Okay, so we can either, we can get tape, an adult magazine, and a wrench. I'm gonna hold back on buying anything for now. I might need to sa I have a quarter for now. I might need to save my money. So let's go someplace else for now. The next place on this corner is the barbershop. Pastorelli's Barbershop. Oh, that was right next door. This place is exceptionally creepy. I had forgotten about it and I kind of want to leave. Let's start with the sheep. Except for its occasional hairball cough, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. Okay, that's not, that is a living sheep with red eyes. Okay. Oh, talk to Mr. Pastorelli. Mr. Pastorelli doesn't respond, not understanding English. I despair, talk to Mr. Swell. Howdy, Steve. Yeah, howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer, cool in the winter, and it keeps out the sheep. Cheap. Mr. Relly ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. Uh, tell me you know what, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna write down all of this stuff whenever it comes up, so that's how I always have it written down in my paper. Also gotta make sure I spell it properly, cause God knows I'm gonna need that. This music I kinda like. Aluminum siding. Steve, aluminum siding can't get a fair shake no more. Started when those firemen came to harvest, filling people's heads with newfangled notions like 
color coordination, and interior design. That is weird for firemen. You can. Oh, now I remember who the firemen are. Know, if you want to. But even so, I can't seem to move it anymore. Not even to a rube like Pastorelli. Thank God for the plumbing. What? Plumbing? Well, now plumbing's on the list. Let's write down plumbing on our notebooks, people. Pastorelli's next. Pastorelli's a rube from way back. Ask Clem Parsons how he followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. Well, we already talked to plumbing. Uh, if I were to put in Clem, would you actually tell me about Clem? Stop funning around now. Oh, okay, so no. Uh, sheep, I want to know more, please. Can't understand why Pastorelli keeps that nasty thing in here. It must remind him of the pastures in Italy. Kind of like why I keep wrenches under my pillow. So as I can dream about plumbing. Okay, that's a little extra weird. Uh... Just out of interest, just out of curiosity, if I put in Lodge, what will you say? Stop funning around now. I suppose not everyone will answer the questions I put in here, but I'm glad I'm writing this stuff down. At least I hope I'm glad. Nice to see you again, Steve. Yeah, same here, Swell. Examine Cowhead. It takes a true sportsman to hunt down those dangerous cows. Who well, has antlers, it looks like, though. Sculpture. Made of solidified moose and sticky hairspray, this lovely mannequin is a work of art. Pictures. A picture of Mr. Pastorelli as a young buck. Cornell Buster Monroe flipping the bird from uh, his B-17 cockpit. Buster Monroe, I think. Colonel Buster Monroe, I think I know who that is. I think he's the guy who killed me. Picture. Clem Parsons looked took this rare photograph of an extraterrestrial. Can't really see it very well. Oh, okay, I kind of do now. It looks like an alien. A picture of a young Mr. Pastorelli spaghetti on his mouth and all. Because he's Italian. What the hell are you? Alien head? An unfortunate extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds of light years to wind up mountain on a barber's wall. Okay, this town is exceptionally weird and I kind of like it. Uh, Mr. Parsons. Hello there, youngster. You say them aliens I was telling you about? Well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. How come I never seen none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wily, Pete. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastor Ellie did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Uh, oh, we got some more things. Pole and alarm system. Let's keep going. Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over from Italy. Right oh, that kind of pole. Special -like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. Huddy thinks it's the be all end all. Install that alarm system just to protect it. But who in tarnation would want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Maybe them aliens, Clem? Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? Crazy hick, don't know nothing about science. Yes, well, you don't know nothing about science. Ooh, now we have aliens as something we can ask about. Well, once we're done with the alarm system, I'll ask about aliens. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot crosswired it to the fire sprinkler. <laughs> so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. I couldn't agree with you more, my friend. And aliens. Well, son, the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want to bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. What, you think uh. you can get one of those at a swap meet? 
That is, that explains where that came from, at least. Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Nuclear well, they love base. messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a-carving. All they do, their crop doodles, with zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. Now, you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. I will, Clem. Across the void, wondering what lies beyond, all the time not knowing that what awaits them is buckshot. Look, I kind of like you, Clem. You're my kind of dude. Thanks, boys. Anytime, Steve. And on that bizarre note, folks, I think we're going to end the episode here. I don't know if it's too long or too short, or if this recorded properly. I guess we'll find out. So, if you guys enjoyed what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date the story, ring that bell. And thank you so much for watching. Later!